Hello everyone, uh, my name is Soulstar, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the LEGO Mindstorm CD3 with Scratch. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be using the ultrasonic sensor, also known as the distance sensor, with the motors. So, it's going to be, as the ultrasonic sensor gets closer and closer to a wall or an object, the motors will oscillate slower and slower until it eventually stops at the wall. So to do this, you need a scratch link up and running, which I have right now. And to test your scratch link, you can use beep note 60 for 0.5 seconds, which is given to you in the EV3 blocks menu. Click on that, and if your EV3 makes a sound, then that means that you are ready. After that, what you want to do is click the check mark next to distance so you can see the distance in inches of an object to the ultrasonic sensor. So after doing that, what you want to do is go to events and take three one green flag clicks. And you want to go to control and take three forever loops. This is only if you want to re uh, rename the LEGO EV3 distance to something else like distance in inches, which you can easily do by going into variables, clicking make a variable and naming it distance in inches and it trades for all sprites and click OK and you can say when green flag clicked forever set distance in inches go to Lego EV3 and say distance then when you click the green flag it will show you the exact same distance and you can uncheck the distance here so after doing that, um, we want to start our actual project, which will be um, using the ultrasonic with the uh, B and C motors. So what you want to do is take both forever loops and put it under the when green flag clicked. After doing that, uh, what you want to do is go to motor A set power and take two of them. Next, set them to the motors that you're using, which for us will be B and C. Put them in the forever loops, and in power, you want to say distance, and go to operators, since the distance is going to be in the range of 5 to 15, as you can see here, and you want to take the multiplier block from old operators, so you can multiply what you have by 10, or 5, depending on... Um, what kind of area you're in. Obviously, I would need five. So let's go ahead and duplicate this. And put your multiplier, which for me would be 5%. And next, what you want to do is go back into LEGO EV3 in the scripts menu. Next, you want to take motor B, turn this way for one second, and you want to take two of them. Put them right under the motor uh, B and C set power, and as you as you heard, um, we had the green flag running, so that's why our EV3 started to move. Next, what you want to do is change the seconds to something lower, like for us would be 0.1, because we're on a desk. After doing that, um, what you want to do is set your EV3 in a uh, position where it would run into a wall and you want to click the green flag obviously since we didn't set uh, this one to C let's go ahead and do that it's, it wouldn't work but let's go ahead and start as you can see that it slows down when it reaches my hand and if I move it all the way back here moving fast until I put my hand there. Let's try this again. So I'm going to move it all the way back here to my hand. It'll slowly come up to my hand until the sensor reaches my hand and it'll stop. This could be used in many ways including a uh, wall detection robot, which would detect the wall, turn around, and go somewhere else, like um, the cleaning robots we have at home, iRoomba and um, iLife uh, Beetle robots, 
which will clean the floor. And they have the similar, uh, similar types of sensors in there to detect walls. Thanks, guys, for watching. If you have a question, please um, put your question in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And um, if you have, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And see you in my next video.